In Athens, Paul proclaims to Greeks that the unknown God whom they worship is the true Lord of heaven and earth who will bring justice through Jesus the Christ, whom God has raised to new life. A reading from Acts chapter 17, verses 22 through 31. Then Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription to an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and everything in it, he is Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. From one ancestor he made all nations to inhabit the whole earth, and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live so that they would search for God and perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, even as some of your own poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by the art and imagination of mortals. While God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, he now commands all people everywhere to repent because he has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed. And of this he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In his final words to his disciples on the night of his arrest, Jesus encourages obedience to his commandments to love one another and speaks of the Spirit who will be with them forever. The Holy Gospel, according to John chapter 14. Glory to you, O Lord. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live you also will live. On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Those who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. <laughs> 